Hey everybody, how you doing? Heading over to uh, Ted Binion's house. But after that, going to head out to Pahrump, Nevada because I finally found the exact location where the silver vault was. An old timer that lives out there told me it was where the cotton gin used to be. So come along with me. Uh, also follow me on Instagram. Uh, famous Graves with Diamond Dave. Ted Minion's house. Uh, this is the home that he died in. Uh, was he murdered? Was a drug over no overdose? You can decide yourself. But um, looks like two car garage on this end and four car garage at the other end. But allegedly there was some silver buried in the backyard. Uh, as of this date, nothing has ever been found. The home has new owners now. Uh, they have completely remodeled it. Nice home. Nevada which is about 65 miles west of Las Vegas California is out this direction we're at the location where there is a uh, cotton gin 1959 they built a cotton gin right here uh, now I'll go ahead and bring in a picture now from 1959 uh, to, to give you some idea of the location uh, if you look at the mountains in the back, the snow-covered mountains, that's where we're at right now. You can kind of identify it. So I'm standing at the location of the cotton gin. Uh, this area back then was lots of cotton farmers. It since has turned into gaming, uh, gambling and such, uh, tourists. So they built the gin to help the farmers out so they, they wouldn't have to go to California, which is about 250 miles west of here uh, with, their, with their cotton. So I'll tell you a little more, give you a little more history of this place here. Uh, I'll bring in a satellite picture now and you can see the cotton gin and you can notice that this side road going this direction and then where I'm standing there's another road coming in here well the reason why I wanted to point this out is because this is the property that Ted Binion owned so this would be where his silver vault was buried uh, today it's Prump Nugget that's a casino uh, this is a bowling alley right here. So right in this area is where the vault was. Uh, so Binion hires a guy by the name of Rick Tabish to uh, come out here and put the vault in. And the reason why he had to do that is because Binion lost his uh, gaming license. Uh, so he had to clear out his property. So he had 14 million dollars in silver And they thought it would be a good idea to come out here uh, Bury it back here Now uh, September the 19th 1998 Tabish comes out here and digs up the silver Alright, but before he does this, he calls the sheriff, the Nye County Sheriff here, and advises him that in behalf of the Binion family, he's going to uh, do some work, some ex excavating on a property here. And 
the sheriff went along with it. He okayed it. Uh, which kind of surprises me because right here is an RV park. And a backhoe and Machine, machinery like that makes lots of noise. So anyway, anyway, uh, Tabish uh, comes out here about 2 a.m. And right across the road here, right over in this direction, right there, uh, was a casino called Terrible Herbs. It turns out that a deputy sheriff is in that parking lot talking to another law enforcement official when he hears the backhoe and the digging, which is quite odd in this small town. So he comes over to investigate, see what in the world's going on. So Tabish says, oh, it's already cleared by the sheriff. <laughs> so anyway, the deputy uh, got to nosing around and, uh, uh, and they're nervous, Tabish and his helper's nervous and so the deputy lifts up the tarp and finds all the silver and bags of coins in back of the trailer. The deputy asked, does the Binion family know you're doing this? Uh, Rick says, no, but I was, I was going to tell them. <laughs> Oh boy. So anyway, it was right here. Lots of history. So what do you say now? Let's go over to the cemetery. Back to Las Vegas. It's going to take me about an hour and a half. It better take you guys about two minutes. I've never seen this in a mausoleum. Okay, here we go. L. Ted Binion. The O is for Lonnie. Died September 17th, 1998. The, uh, the legendary father, Benny Binion, he died in 89, and then Teddy Jane Binion, 1994. Yeah, it, it appears that they are lying this direction from looking at the side.
Huh. Anybody know the significance of the tape? Hmm. This is what they used to uh, lift you up to the to your private area.